Welcome to this um, video session. My name is Julius Afolabi. And um, in this session, I will be challenging our mind on a very critical subject. But if you will pay attention and stay till the end of this video, you are going to attract maximum value to yourself. And what is the, the center of the focus of this session within the time that we have? My focus is this, that value is intrinsic to price. What do I mean? Cost is not price. Cost is not price. There's a very wide margin between what, how we define cost and how we perceive price. And until we are able to do this, we are blind to value. That is the sincere truth. There is a brand of thinking. This generation, these times call for brands. There are brands of men, brands of experts, brands of coaches, brands of uh, artisans, brands of leaders in our times. But if we lack the capacity to understand the times, we will not know the brand of men required to fulfill the value of the times. Now, this sounds um, may sound contextual to you, but pay rapt attention. Many years ago, as an employee in the bank in the banking industry right there were i perceived back then there were professional courses that were offered by the lagos business school i am from nigeria and in nigeria we had uh, the prestigious lagos business school back then offered some courses that the price i mean the cost was very high they looked i perceived them as being expensive despite the fact that what i was um a highly paid employee but my perception of value got me stocked in a particular place beyond where i should have gone so i was looking at cost instead of looking at the price now what do i mean i was looking at the naira value the expensive nature of those courses but i wasn't checking what i would be losing if i didn't pay that price then those courses that were offered could have given me a lot of leverage will have uh, enabled me to explore business opportunities faster and connected with great minds and ideas that the potentials that are developed could explore i had already gained weight in banking that just one or two clicks few clicks would have masterminded a lot of things, giant value in me that would have given me the higher dimension of results and placement that I want. But I got stuck with what? With the cost. Cost is what you pay, but price is what you're going to lose for not paying what you should have paid. There are quite a number of us that we are paying the price for the cost that we avoided today. So, your character can become the price for the cost of discipline that you ought ignored. So what is it that you ought to do now that you are procrastinating or that you have suspended? What is the weakness that you ought to take care of now that you are undervaluing but is going to cost you so much? Now, as a person of faith, um, there is this scripture I love so much. In Hebrews chapter 1 and um, chapter 12 from verse 1 to 2 that said that Jesus Christ for the price for uh, the glory that was ahead of him endured the cross despised the shame and what he's now seated he said what he endured the cross he despised the shame now Jesus didn't think about the pains he thought about the what of his soul and that's why I said, what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? That means it thought about the what of the salvation of humanity. So he despised the shame. Likewise, look at the story of Joseph. What is it that was embedded in Joseph that made him more attractive to the queen than the king? As a slave boy, he was more attractive to the queen than the king. So you see, value is a magnetic force. 
value attracts opportunities to you not you being attractive only to opportunity mostly people say value makes you attractive to opportunities but value rather attracts opportunity to you right so irrespective of where you may be what the level of your business may be what the level of your career may be right now what are you seeing as cost and what is your perception of price a simple seminar a course or a book may cost you five thousand but if you're looking at five thousand and not looking at what you will lose the value you are going to be losing or the values that that knowledge would deliver to you you will get stuck many people are stagnated because they are not willing to pay for what they can actually achieve why a lot of people are stuck is the fact that we look at the cost and never think of the price the price is what you will have to suffer for not getting what you could have gotten so what is it that forms the frame for your thinking my brand uh, my branch manager once um, attended a course that costed about 1.8 million back then I'm talking about 10 10 12 years ago and um, as soon as she came back from that training and told them that she had acquired a new skill in that particular area instantly she was recommended for a better place where the potentials of those skills are most required there are times when the best of us is deployed is deployed to the least areas of results so until you get trained and add value to yourself by paying what it costs to get that so that you can avoid the price of regret we can never shift from our position so there are a lot of things that i have sacrificed what is the cross that you're willing to endure what is the shame that you are willing to despise are you willing to go on that one trouser and one shirt but acquire the skill that one day shifts you from what the prison to the palace where you most desire this is the big question that i want you to ask yourself today in the prison you wear only one brand of clothes isn't it a uniform right but in the palace you have what <laughs> royal apparels so what would you be losing sitting down imagine that joseph sat back in a prison and refused to explore the giftings the potentials in him even though as a freemium to the man to the baker and the potter in the prison he kept back the value of his gifts and potential of interpreting the dreams and the confusion for those two men that were imprisoned with him you think those two men were imprisoned coincidentally no in life i don't believe that there are coincidences they are only intentional accidents right i define coincidence as intentional accident every coincidence has an intention and so you can call it absolutely a coincidence so you see they were there for a purpose so where you are right now your position right now irrespective of whatever the circumstances are is what not an accident there is an intention behind it if only you sit back to pay what is required what is the cost that you need what is the cost and the cross you need to endure the shame you need to despise in order for you to gain entrance and ascendance into your preferred dream or the preferred place so what courses do you need to attend do you need to go hungry in order to undergo a particular training or skill what brand of thinking do you need that is going to brand your value and then brand your experience these are the things that i think that you should think about and if you would think about them i can tell you that your experience is going to change so cost is not price so whatever your perception of cost is always think about the price the price is what you would have to lose because you didn't pay the cost so if you see it this way this is one principle that 
has made men that has branded men that changed the era of their time one thing one thing one thinking that changed the experience of an era is the ability to understand that cost is not price and the fact that what the real price is what you would have to lose because you refuse to pay the cost the cost is the pain the cost is what you have to endure the cost is the shame that you have to despise in order for you to avoid the price that will become a misery for you so think about this and i know that your experience and your life your business your career will not remain the same this brand of thinking is what brands our lives and is what gives relevance to our living so thank you very much and god bless you my name remains julius afolabi and if you're yet to subscribe to this channel to add more value to your life why don't you your life your business your career will take a jump as you stay with this style god bless you